Today we're going to do an orthographic drawing. The object that we're going to draw is this cuboid. Now, an orthographic drawing is when we take a 3D object like this and represent it two-dimensionally. So, what we're going to do is draw several views of the same object, starting with the ele front elevation view, the side elevation, the plan view. These are the three most important views. Then we're going to go to the other side, the rear of the object, and the bottom, just to show that they can all be drawn. So the first step is to draw the front view of the object. Take my pen, and I'm going to try to keep my lines straight, and just do them in a single pass. So, making sure everything's going to fit, I'm going to draw the front elevation view right here. So there's my bottom, the side, that line there, the top, and the other side. So that's done. That's that view there. So let's take a look at the other side, which is this view. So I'll put that back. So drawing this view here, our bottom edge again. Now this is the same height, so I'll try to get that close. There's the length of it, and there's the side. Not perfect, but there you go. So we've got this. This is our elevation view, our side elevation. And now let's do our top view, or our plan view. So I'll put this back over. Now, the top view, the plan view, is the same length as the front view. So we'll get that in there. It's a little longer. Should be as long as the side view. And there we go. So there's our top view. So now we have the three most important views of the orthographic drawing. But let's continue on, because some objects have more detail and we need more views. So from here, let's take a look at the other side, which is this side here. Now, this side's got to line up with the front view, same as the top lined up and this other side. So we're going to come in, try and keep this as proportioned as we can. Let's go there. There's our other side view. So from the front side, now the back view is going to go um, beside this one, because that's where it lines up, if it were there. So, let's make that side back view. So now we've got five views of the drawing. Back to the front, and we're going to go down and make the bottom view. But there, the bottom view is going to be the same length as that front view or elevation view. Same width as the top view. And there's the bottom. So you simply can see we've got the front view or the elevation, the side elevation, the plan view or top view, the bottom view down there, and then we have the other side view and the back view. Okay. Okay. So we have the six views of this um, cuboid, but because the cuboid's so simple, the dimensions all seem to match. The bottom view matches the top view the side views match each other, and the front elevation ma matches the back elevation. So really, in the detail of this object, we don't need these three views. So let's go back and redraw this, this cuboid on a single piece of paper. So, first key thing, this is going to be our final drawing for now. We have to make sure that it's centered well on the page and everything's going to lay out. So now, we're only going to have three views, so let's just take a look. Maybe front elevation, top view or plan view, and the side elevation. And then we're utilizing the nice space of the page. So let's start with the front view again. This time I'm going to take a little more time into getting nice straight lines. So, there's the bottom, the side, the other side, and the top. So you can see that's our front view. Now from the front view we need to go on and draw the plan view which is on top. So same thing. It's very important that we make sure this line, this line here and this line line up. Same on this side. So let's take it from here. We want this to line up so just kind of eye it in. There's a top. Uh, let's bring this one's got to line up here, so it's got to go that way. 
We'll bring that over like that. Same with the top. Not too perfect there. And there's our top view. So there and there. Go into our side view. So front side's going to be like that. Same thing. Lining up the side view with the bottom. Draw on the bottom line. This line should be the same as this line up here because they are the same line. Matching everything up. These have to line up. If they don't line up, it causes some confusion in your drawing. That one. Now let's clean that up. So there's our orthographic drawing. Now from this stage we can go on and add dimensions. We can dimension the sizes. Let's call this X for now. We can dimension the length. We'll call this Y. And there's one more dimension we need to do. We can either place that dimension here or here. It doesn't matter. It's nice though to keep the dimensions to one side of the page. So what I'm going to do is put it up here. And I will call this the O dimension. So that's basically how we're going to dimension our drawing. Very simple, very quick.